How's it going, folks? Um, you're probably wondering why I'm putting up a Stairway to Seven video this, today and not waiting until Sunday when the Steelers play the Titans. Well, if you haven't been following the news, there has been a COVID, COVID outbreak in Tennessee at the Tennessee Titans facility. So I think today there's like 11 people who've been who've been affected with the coronavirus and they've shut down the facilities since Tuesday. There was hope yesterday that the Steelers and Titans game would be played on Monday or Tuesday, but this morning it was confirmed that the game will not be played this weekend at all and will be pushed back probably until week 7 or week 8, which is supposed to be when the Steelers were supposed to play the Ravens in week 7 and then they were supposed to have their bye week after that. But likely now it's going to be the Steelers and Titans in week 7 and then Steelers and Ravens gets pushed into week 8, so essentially the Steelers are now going to have to play 13 consecutive games in order to get back to to the playoffs, which, I mean, it's not surprising that this is going to happen because I think every team was expecting that first sign that there was going to be an outbreak of, of the virus somewhere, and here we are, and... I mean, I get it. I understand that we're still in a pandemic. I understand that we're still in this situation where everybody is still trying to figure out how we're going to move forward as the as it's likely more of these cases are going to keep going. But at the same time, I'm still I'm still a little bit upset here because basically the NFL is forcing the Steelers to play 13 consecutive games and they want to get back to a Super Bowl. Well, and you don't want to do that. If you, you don't want to have this early bye week and then have to deal with playing 13 consecutive games and risk a lot of injuries. And I mean, it's I'm confu I'm conflicted on this because I understand why they're doing this. They want to keep everybody safe. They want to keep the players safe. They want to keep the coaches safe and everyone in the facility safe. And I understand that. I get that. But. I don't know, man. I just feel like the Steelers really are getting screwed out of this because they have nothing to do with this. There is no reason why they should have to su suffer because of what Tennessee di did and why the NFL didn't have this, didn't think about this before the season even began. Like this was one of the things I was worried about when the NFL put that plan together because how do you do? How do you? I mean, how do you put? How are you supposed to have a season if you're going to have this happen? This, this is probably going to happen again, probably in the weeks to come. So. I guess the good news is there are some good things to come out of this. Is that there are some injuries on our front. Derek Watts out for a couple, out for a little bit. Uh, Deontay Johnson's still in the concussion protocol. There's some other players who are injured on our front. So we get the good news is that we get this week and they get time to heal and potentially come back next week for Philadelphia. But at the same time, I mean, yeah, it's a hard thing to th really think of. It's a hard thing here because. On the one hand, yeah, you're keeping people safe, but at the same time, you're punishing a team that has nothing to do with this. And you're punishing them by forcing them to play 13 consecutive games. Like, from October 11th now to January, they're going to have to play 13 consecutive games if they're going to have any chance to get into the Super Bowl. And they did it once before. They did it in the year they won the Super Bowl in 2005, where they had the week four bye, but that's a... At the same time, it's a completely different thing because they didn't have to deal with the pandemic. And they didn't have to worry about games eventually being postponed because of that. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm conflicted on this because I get it. You're trying to you're trying to keep everybody safe. You're trying to keep everybody from spreading this, spreading this virus that's still going on to this day. Like, we're still not out of the woods out of any of this yet. But... I just feel like this is kind of unfair. Like, I feel like this is kind of unfair to the Steelers. It's kind of unfair to the Titans because they're these are two undefeated teams. This was supposed to be a big marquee matchup this week. And now you're just telling them, yeah, we can't do this. We, like, you're if you want to get back to, to the playoffs, you're going. These, both of you are going to have to play 13 consecutive games in order to get back. So, yeah, I'm conflicted on this. And Tennessee was in Minnesota. And Minnesota has not reported any cases of the coronavirus. Their game against the Texas is still going to happen this week. And, um... But, yeah, that's just... I'm upset. 
I think a lot of Steeler fans are upset because when, when we don't have a game to watch this week. We can only watch every other team play. Like I said before, I get it. We're in a pandemic. We are, is this, this virus is still lingering around. But it's hard not to wa- look at this and feel a little disappointed after w- is knowing what the after effect is going to be. Like I said, both the Steelers and the Titans now have to play 13 consecutive games in order to make it back to the playoffs and even have a chance at the Super Bowl, which is a hard thing to do. You have to wor- you have to make sure everybody can stay healthy during that time, and that's after the season that we've had where we've seen so many star players get injured, like Saquon Barkley, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, you know Nick Bosa, Solomon Thomas, all these big all these big names. This is going to be a real test for the Steelers and the Titans as well. Uh, as of right now, they haven't announced when the game is going to be, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So, if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. And if I don't hear anything from then, I'll see you guys next week for Philadelphia for the game at Philadelphia.